going the distance with local sports. This is the X Sports Network. Hey, welcome everybody here to Gary Lamb Fill the site for today's a double header here. First game of the day will be between the team on the visiting scoreboard and the Summertown Eagles and the visitors all the way from Memphis, the Arlington Tigers. AJ Good joined alongside Timmy Kinning here tonight. And uh, Timmy, it's good to have uh, a partner in crime for, for uh, and one job, Timmy, one job. Hello. There right. we go. Yeah, hey, the button he, didn't work, Will. He that wasn't one, me. You, hey, you, if that that was, was, you're blaming Will already? It was Will's fault. Yeah, the button didn't work. I hit the button. It just didn't work, AJ. <laughs> hey, it's uh, good to be on here with you, AJ. Yeah. I'm, uh, of course, I kind of enjoy watching you. You know, I've been watched you do a couple yeah. by yourself. It's yeah. kind of enjoyable. Well, I, uh, I just I, I appreciate not having to lug all my equipment up here and then lug it all back. My uh, my back certainly starting to feel the effects yeah. of that. Yeah. Uh, well, we got Will. Yeah, we got we got Will tonight. <laughs> So let's take a look here at the starting lineups for both sides. Starting first with the Eagles from Summertown, coming in 11 and 10 overall, 3 and 0 within the district. Their head coach is Jason Burleson, leading off in center field. Case and Blackwood batting second at first base. Grayson Burleson batting third, and at third base, Kane Kinning batting fourth. At the left fielder, Aiden Perez batting fifth and catching Zach Staggs batting sixth. The shortstop, Ryder Blackwood batting seventh and pitching Keegan McCafferty batting eighth. The designated hitter, Jackson Bennett, rounding up the lineup at second base will be Matthew Luffman. For the Tigers coming in at 13-4 overall and 4-0 and within their district, their head coach is Jonathan Moody. Leading off, playing second base, Parker Peeler, batting second at shortstop, Jack Hibber, batting at third and catching Jack Pitts. Batting fourth at third base, Carter McKay. Batting fifth and pitching, Britt Fowler. Batting sixth, the right fielder, Peyton Goolsby. Batting seventh at first base, Tucker Bearden. Batting eighth in center field, uh, Slade Williams. And rounding out the lineup, the designated hitter, Sean Tillman. So, Timmy, Eagles coming into this game on a nine-game win streak. As we mentioned, a perfect 3-0 and within the district, a team that started off the year at 2-10. and But... Since that point, the last three weeks here, Timmy have been playing some really good baseball. Playing a lot better baseball. We're uh, we started using our bats a little more. Our defenses look better. AJ, we're still not hitting consistently. What I would you know what I would like to see is consistent with them, but uh, they're spreading it out now. Uh, you know, so if this guy don't hit, the next two does. So it's you know it's, that's the way baseball is, I guess. So, but lot lot different baseball than what we've seen three weeks ago for sure. Take, taking on this Arlington team that's got a lot of talent on it. We heard uh, beforehand they've got three commitments to the University of Memphis. Got one to Arkansas State and got a couple to Inamwamba. Yeah. So it's a pretty talented team. And one of those guys going in Inamwamba, I hope I'm saying that right, yeah. is on the, <laughs> on the mound here in Brett Fowler. So he'll face off with Case and Blackwood. Speed guy here for the uh, Eagles. Comes the first pitch from Fowler. Going to miss away for ball one. Absolutely beautiful evening here, guys. We haven't been able to say that all week long, not even on Monday when we are able to get some games yeah, in. But yeah. rest of the week, uh, the evenings, mornings, and the afternoons have been pretty ugly. It's the 1-0, and that one's in there for strike one. Cason's um, just kind of worked his way back into the leadoff position for us. He dr dropped down the lineup a little bit. He's been hitting the ball well the last – Three or four games. You certainly need those legs on the base yes. paths as well. Yeah. Tries a bunt attempt there and misses for strike two. Yeah, getting his wheels on the base is huge for us. One and two, the count here to Blackwood. Summertown wearing their all-white uniforms. Arlington in the all-grays. And the one-two. Breaking ball misses away for ball two. Field's in absolutely great condition here. At Loretto, guys here have done an amazing job. You can't tell that we've had four straight days or maybe five straight days of rain <laughs> in the area. That The field looks incredible. Comes a 2-2. And a check swing. This one's going to stay on the grass. Blackwood's got a chance. to throw to first, though, will beat him, and that will be the first out of the inning. Good play there by the catcher and Jack Pitts. Now brings up the first baseman, Grayson Burleson. And Timmy, speaking of a guy that's been absolutely 
crushing the ball as of late. That, is, yes. that has been Grayson he Burleson. He has. He's wore the ball out the last three or four games. He's actually – and he's, uh, he's pitched well. I mean, he probably had one of the best outings I've ever seen him had over at Lewis County the other night. Yeah, 17 well, strikeouts. With eight innings. So, I mean, he had a great game. First pitch here from Fowler. Breaking ball, and Grayson fouls that one near the softball field for strike one. Wind is blowing in here from left field. Like everywhere we go this year, AJ, the wind's blowing. Yeah. Well, at Lawrence County, you loved it when it was blowing out. Everybody did that day. Yeah. Here's the 0 1. And this is low for ball one. And the 1-1 one -one here from Fowler. Swing and a miss for strike two. Fastball he went upstairs with. Mm -hmm. Grayson just couldn't cut his hands above that one. And the 1-2 here from Fowler. Grayson checks the swing. And he said he didn't go. Evens up the count here. Two balls and two strikes. Wind is blowing pretty stiffly in there from left field. Infield, outfield playing pretty much normal. Middle infield more towards the gaps. 2-2. Two -two. Breaking ball, and Grayson rips this one down the left field line, gets down for a base hit. He'll make a big turn here at first and stay there with a one-out single. So Grayson continuing his hot streak, brings up the third baseman here in Kane Kenning. Kane's off to a great start here so far in the season. He's had some big hits and some big times this year so far, Timmy. And no, you're a little bit biased. That's to, your you, boy there. Are, are you trying to get me to brag on him, AJ? Well, I, that's no, what you should do. He's having a good season. He is. He's uh, he's hit the ball well and stayed yeah. stayed pretty consistent with it since we've started. Yeah. Oh, we we know when he's not doing good. <laughs> <laughs> First pitch swing and a Mr. Strike one. That's the reason why you're buying us a steak dinner at the yeah, end of the season. No, it ain't him. It was <laughs> somebody else. It wasn't even him on that one. <laughs> Grayson now going to take off. That pitch is inside for ball one. And Grayson is safe. What a great job. Yeah. Signed to the outside part of the bag. And now we got a runner in scoring position. That was all on the pitcher. Grayson's, you know, it's Grayson's a great base runner, too. I mean, people don't see it a lot, but he, he stole that on the pitcher. You know what? Yeah. Not not necessarily speedy, but more no. crafty. Yes, very. Yeah, he ain't real fast. <laughs> Here's a 1-1. One -one. This is a ground ball down the left field line, and that will go foul for strike two. And the Summertown team in this nine-game win streak has played some pretty good pitching uh, throughout that as well. Seen some teams' aces, and... Really unfazed. Yeah, we faced a lot of really good pitching this season to start the year off for sure. Here's the one two. Just misses away, evens up the count of two balls and two strikes. That's a pitch a lot of guys uh, might have gone after there. I know yeah. I probably would have gone after yeah, that's, that. We said this the other night. He don't chase a lot, yeah. but and that helps him. Yeah. So, see, there you go. You can brag on him. You're doing I can. Good, you're doing a good job. I've tried to get him to do that all year. And that see, pitch. But like I said the other night in Lewis County, Joe, you know he he he'll see that pitch, but he will take third pitch yeah. strike every now and then yeah. too. So, first strikeout of the game for Fowler now brings up the left fielder in Aiden Perez. Speaking of speed, this guy gets on. It's almost an automatic. He's going to end up at third base within a couple right. pitches. And been swinging a really hot bat here of late. And he is uh, actually leading the team in average uh, and on base percentage right now. First pitch is on the outside corner for strike one. It's good to have these nice camera angles from Will Pettis. He's trying to get us on ESPN so bad. <laughs> We're going that direction. We are. We, we are. Trust me. We've got a lot of things uh, working in the kettle. Here's the 0-1 on the outside corner for strike two. 
It's just like apple butter. You got to cook it for a long time. It's got to take a while. Pull it, pull it when it's just right. Mm -hmm. And your house is going to smell amazing whenever it's done. Comes the 0-2. Just misses away for ball one. Fowler trying to get that outside corner again. Yeah, he's living on that outside. Yeah. That umpire's giving him a couple out there, and uh, he's trying to just stay with it. Keegan needs to take some notes in the next inning and Absolutely. live right in that spot. So, you know, if the umpire calls it consistently all game, it's, it's, uh, that's yeah, a strike. There's nothing wrong with it. you got to make your adjustments. 1-2. This is a curveball. This one's sent in the center field. And a great, amazing diving catch out there in center by Slade Williams, and that one will end the inning. The Eagles strand one here in the top of the first. Tigers have their first at bat. The bottom half of the inning coming up next on the Exports Network. And back here at Gary Landfield, getting ready to go the bottom half of the first inning. No score here between Summertown and Arlington here at Loretta. Leading things off here for the Tigers will be the second baseman, Parker Peeler, followed by Jack Hibbard and Jack Pitts. Keegan McCaffrey, he will get the start here for Summertown. Number two uh, pitcher in the Eagle rotation. Going to get some work here in this game since Lewis County game has been postponed, postponed, and postponed this week. First pitch here from the right-hander, and this one is fouled out of play near the softball field for strike one. Arlington. First, first pitch swinging. Yeah, aggressive team here. Here's the 0-1. That one just misses away for ball one. Keegan loves to work really fast. Here's a 1-1. This is high for ball two. Which, if you got a game slated at five and another at seven, that's that bodes well. Yeah, it does. Here's a two-one. Well, a lot know. of times the umpire has to just slow him down, yeah. though. I mean, this kid gets – but when he gets in a rhythm, yeah. it's just one right after another. There you go. Here's a two-two. Breaking ball just misses away, and the count goes full. It's one of those guys you don't even turn the pitch clock on because it's not going to matter. Yeah, I know. Full count offering. This one is sending the left field. And making the catch out there in left is Aiden Perez, and that's the first out of the inning. One gone here in the bottom of the first. Going to bring up the shortstop and Jack Hibbert. Timmy with the wind blowing in like that today. Fly balls are uh, a yeah. pretty good thing if you can get them. Yeah, if Keegan. you can get them to pop them up. That's, and he's, that's what he does. You're, oh, there's a line drive in the left field. That was a first pitch swinging yeah. line drive there. They're going to be very aggressive, that's yeah. for sure. Yeah, these guys can certainly hit, swing the bats. So like we said, they've got – Four Division One commits and uh, two JUCO commits in their lineup. So uh, can't uh, be throwing many belt-high fastballs no. down the middle to these guys. Well, now Keegan's not going to get a lot of strikeouts. You're going to see a lot of ground balls and a lot of pop-ups. So. The de defense for Summertown in this nine-game win streak has also been very good. You haven't seen many errors out of this bunch. First pitch here from McCafferty, breaking ball. That misses away for ball one. Quick pickoff move, not in time. Yeah. 
is a 1-0. Runner takes off. This one's hit high in the air to center. Blackwood out there, going to camp underneath it. Makes a catch, and that's the second out of the inning. Two gone here in the bottom of the first now. Brings up the third baseman and Carter McKay. This kid just looks like he can swing it, AJ. Yeah, absolutely. Oh. Swinging left-handed. Anytime you see a guy that looks like he should be playing middle linebacker. Uh, <laughs> for for assuming he can swing it. Yeah, and he's batting in the four hole for a team that's 13-4. and four. That's yeah. a pretty good uh, indication he can swing it. Yeah. First pitch. That one misses away for ball one. A well, pitch out. Yeah, it was a pitch out. That's something we've seen happen a few times this, this year. Well, Hibbert's certainly been aggressive. He's got a big lead over there at first. This is the 1 out. Breaking ball. That one misses away for ball two. The 2 0. This is high for ball three. Looks like McKay must have, he might have just gotten the takes on there. And the 3-0. That one's in there for strike one. He got him shaded out there and right, out to right center. Center fielder, big gap in between left and center field. This one's hit high in the air. Perez going to come in on it, still coming in on it, Make drops it. And now we got runners on the corners there on the air with uh, two gone here in the bottom of the first. Now brings up the opposing pitcher, and Britt Fowler. Now you don't see that a lot out of Perez out there. That's, he acted like he was lost when it left yeah. the bat. Got, got there, though. You know, ball hit him in the glove on the run. You get, Let's put runners at first and third here with two outs. But still got a chance to get out of the jam here. Fowler going to try to help his own cause here. McKay not with a big lead over at first. First pitch here from McCaffrey, and this one's lined in the left field. That will get down for a base hit, and the first run of the game as Arlington leads this one one to nothing. Brings up the right fielder and Peyton Goolsby here with two on, two gone, and a one to nothing lead. A courtesy in for their pitcher. Got a courtesy runner coming in here. Can't see who it is. First pitch from McCafferty. Breaking ball misses in for ball one. Next pitch on the outside corner for strike one. It's going to be number seven out there, Logan. I don't know what his last name is. They've kind of scratched it out on the line up there. Farkas? That's, I was going to guess yeah. that, but I didn't want to. Who's <laughs> <laughs> well, your runner is at first. <laughs> well, it's not like it's a bat board or something. Yeah. Here's a 2-1. Breaking ball. This one is right off of the glove of Luffman, the second baseman. Throws over to first, and Burleson makes a great catch. Over there at first to keep that one from bringing home the second run of the game. So the bases are loaded with two gone here in the bottom of the first inning. Brings up the first baseman and Tucker Bearden. So the seven hole hitter up. Base is loaded, two gone. Cafferty will work out of the wind up again. First pitch on the outside corner for strike one. If you can live on right in that spot. Yes. It's going to be a tough piece to hit hard, too. The 0 1, breaking ball, and that one's going to hit him. And now it's a 2 to nothing Tiger Lee. Coach Bartis is going to come yeah. time out and come out and talk to Keegan. Yeah, probably. Yeah. I, I would imagine yeah, so I'm, well I'm, that he's talking to yeah. everybody in this situation. I've had a couple of errors and hit by, you know, in all reality, it only should be a well, it should be a 0-0 game. Yeah. Yeah. Because both of those both of those errors have happened with two outs. Just like two out base hits can win your baseball games, two out, two out errors can cost you. Cost baseball. you baseball games for sure. 
Somewhere my high school assistant coach, Coach Hutch, is clapping in approval for what I just said. <laughs> what did right you just there. say? Uh, Sound but, like you've heard that a few times. Yeah, hey, but it's true. I mean, you look at two out hitting all across every level of baseball, those are the teams that win championships. Yes, absolutely. And to be honest with you, you could probably go back and look at the runs we've allowed this year, and I'm going to guess Will can probably get me a little closer. I'm going to say 75% of the runs we've given up has been with two outs this mm. year. So bases loaded here for Slade Williams, the center fielder. First pitch from McCafferty. And this one is ripped foul down the left field line into the bullpen for strike one. Arlington's actually brought a pretty good contingent here, guys, on the long yeah, trip. Yeah, it's kind of surprised me. The 0-1 breaking ball misses high for ball one. You got Davidson Academy here tomorrow. They'll play Loretto tomorrow at 2 o'clock. Here's a 1-1. One, one. This one is hit in the right field. He makes the catch, and that one will end the inning. Arlington leads it 2 to nothing after one inning of play. We'll have the start of the second inning when we return on the Exports Network. Volco Auto Supply in Lawrenceburg has a legacy of being a family-owned and operated company. Since 1927, our business has grown and evolved into today's one-stop source for all your automotive supplies. But in that time, one thing has stayed the same, and that's our commitment to our customers and their needs. At Volco Auto Supply, you'll find everything for your car, truck, or even fleet of vehicles, but with good old-fashioned customer service the way it needs to be. That's Volco Auto Supply, 416 Buffalo Road in Lawrenceburg. Visit VolcoAutosupply.com. And we're back here at Gary Lamb Field. Two to nothing is the Arlington lead over Summertown. Leading things off here for the Eagles will be the catcher and Zach Staggs. Britt Fowler on for his second inning of work. Just gave up a hit, no runs, no walks, and a strikeout through 19 pitches in the first inning. First pitch here to Staggs. Swung on a miss for strike one. Zach's one of our guys, AJ. I'd like to see him get a little more consistent. He's been very streaky this year with his bat. Hey, that three home runs and a double header. Yes. <laughs> it's pretty impressive. Next pitch of breaking ball. That one misses away for ball one. Comes the one one. Misses away for ball two. Comes a 2-1. This one is lined over the Arlington bullpen. Evens up the count here. Two balls and two strikes. Look, I'm in a building today, Will, and I'm still got the wind blowing on me. I made sure you took that spot. I've been <laughs> in that spot too much this season. Here's a 2-2 breaking ball, and Staggs is going to foul that one away. Evens up the count at two balls and two strikes. Well, one ball, two strikes here. Two balls. Two balls. Yeah. Right? We got, we got a. That's what I've got. Yeah. Yeah. Next pitch over his head. Full count here after the sixth pitch of the bat. Three balls and two strikes. A 
or maybe it's two two. It no, is it's three, no, it's three okay. two. Yeah. Okay. I was waiting for the umpire to show us two. And the full count offering. Swung on a miss for strike three, and that's the first down in the inning. Second strikeout of the game for Fowler brings up the shortstop. Ryder Black with freshman who's had an amazing season so far. Really come on strong as of late here for the Eagles. And Timmy, he's getting in the sixth spot here today. Yeah, he's uh, he worked his way into that spot. Uh, went up there and got him a couple of swings, got him in a game, got him a couple of swings in, and he's actually worked his way into the lineup. He deserves to be where he's at, that's for sure. First pitch here to Blackwood. That one's in there for strike one. And the 0-1. That one's on the outside corner for strike two. Fowler is living on the black here so far here through the first two innings. The 0-2. Swung on a miss for strike three, and that's the second out of the inning. Third strikeout of the game for Fowler brings up the opposing pitcher, pitcher in Keegan McCafferty. First time here against Fowler. A beautiful cloudless day here at Gary Lamb Field. First pitch. Swung on a miss for strike one. Time called here by the uh, catcher. And he's, well, it looks like he, catcher called it because I think Keegan had a necklace on or something that broke. He put something in his back pocket there. The 0 1. Swung on a miss for strike two. And the 0 2. On the outside corner for strike three, and that one will end the inning. Fowler strikes out the side in the top of the second. Arlington leads it two to nothing. Let's go to the bottom half of the inning here on the X Sports Network. At CMB Linen, fast, friendly, and reliable service is our promise to you because you're not just a customer, you're family. From multi use linen to branded floor coverings and a complete range of cleaning supplies, CMB Linen is here to make sure you have everything you need. From our high quality products to our fast, friendly, and reliable service, you'll experience the difference with CMB Linen. Because you're not just a client, you're part of our family. You'll be winning with CMB Linen. Make your property rock and roll with services from GNS Excavating, specializing in white sand, compost, mulch, topsoil landscape gravel and still landscape edging turn to the pros who know how to make your project shine with years of experience the best part is they're locally owned and operated choose from a vast selection of mulch and rock from their conveniently located facility at number three valley road in lawrenceburg just off buffalo road phone 931-279-3841 and get started today And back here at Gary Lamb Fields, we go to the bottom of the second here with Arlington leading Summertown 2 to nothing. 9-1-2 due up for the Tigers. Sean Tillman, the designated hitter, lead things off here for Arlington. First pitch from McCafferty. Sent down the right field line. Trickling foul will fall in for strike one. McCafferty there in the first inning gave up two runs off two hits. None of those were earned runs. No walks, no strikeouts. Now at 25 pitches. Here's the 0-1. Swung on a miss for strike two. Tillman taking his time here, getting in the box, trying to break the rhythm of McCafferty. Next pitch. Fouled over the broadcast position. Will stand no balls and two strikes. And the 0-2. Breaking ball on the outside corner for strike three and the first out in the inning. First strikeout of the game for McCafferty. Brings up the second baseman and Parker Peeler. 
flight out the left in his first at bat in the previous inning, facing McCafferty here for the second time. Here's the first pitch. Breaking ball misses away for ball one. And the 1 0. Fakes the bunt attempt and miss, or tried the bunt and whiffed for strike one. Something I was never good at, Timmy. Getting a bunt down? Yeah. I could probably, th I can count on two fingers how many bunts I got down in a game. Next pitch swung on a miss for strike two. Well, our, our whole team struggled with it some this year. We've actually come about the last couple of games, but oh, it was ugly for the first 15. Here's the one two off the end of the bat. And making the play there at short is Blackwood, and that's the second out of the inning. Two gone here in the bottom of the second. Brings up the shortstop in Jack Hibbard. Lined a single in the left field in his first at bat and scored a run. Scored the first run in the game for the Tigers. First pitch from McCafferty. Breaking ball misses away for ball one. Here's a one up. This is high for ball two. And the two up. Breaking ball misses high and in. And the count goes to three balls and no strikes. Wind now kind of blown out to right center here. 3 0. Swinging aggressively there on the 3 0. Fouls it back for strike one. Like to see a green light 3 0 with two outs. Go for it. And the 3 1. This is away for ball four. Two out walk. Puts Hibbert on first. Brings up the catcher and Jack Pitts. Flew out to center in his first at bat in the first inning. These guys hit uh, major league pop-ups, Timmy, too, when they, they fly out. Yeah, they are. They, they don't get cheated on the. Well, in the wind changing the directions, that ball he popped up last time is going to carry a little further. Pick off there by McCafferty, not in time. Big lead over there first. First pitch on the inside corner for strike one. A good spot. He's crowding the plate. These these batters have realized this umpire is giving them that outside, and they've started crowding the plate a little bit. Runner takes off, breaking ball in the dirt, and he's going to get in the second base. One and one, the count runner on second here for the Tigers. Next pitch from McCafferty. Swung on a miss for strike two. One, two here from McCafferty, and that one's going to hit him. Now he's going to tell him to stay in the batter's box because the umpire's going to rule yeah, that he's, he's leaned out. into it. He's out in the strike zone. Yeah. The so what's that make a count? That, that two, is, two, two, two. Goes two, two, so is that a – what do you call that? Just a no pitch? Uh, well, it's it's a ball. So you call it a ball? Yeah. So we're deuces here. Two balls, two strikes, two outs. Next pitch. Hit high in the air. This one might stay in play. Grayson going after it. And that one's going to fall. Keep the count of two balls and two strikes. As a former first baseman, I hated those. Especially yeah, that, when they hit them that high. <laughs> well, and there again, the wind's not helping you none in that yeah. direction. It just keeps drifting away from you. Especially Grayson, Grayson just now getting back to first, and yeah. Keegan's done in his windup. It's a 2-2. Breaking ball misses low and away, and the count goes full with three balls and two strikes. A full count offering. Rip down the left field line, and that one's going to be fair. Hibbert's going to come around the score. Pitts is going to get in the second base with a two-out RBI double. So the Tigers now lead this one three to nothing. It's 
like Jason Burleson going to be making his way out here to the mound. Let's see what Burleson does here. And yeah, it looks like that's going to be it. Yeah, that's going to be it for Keegan. So while the uh, pitch and change goes down, we will take a break here on the Exports Network. Garden, located just off the square in downtown Lawrenceburg, is your hometown oasis for massage, aesthetics, full hair and nail services, and body waxing. Gift certificates are available, and be sure to follow them on Facebook for their specials. The Hidden Garden, your peace, your place. 222 Pulaski Street, Lawrenceburg, Tennessee, or phone 931-762-9799. Efficiency. Reliability, accuracy. Move forward with your real estate sale or purchase with Title and Escrow of Lawrence County, the most experienced closing team around. Working with clients locally and throughout the state, we offer a wide range of services, including the expertise of an on-staff attorney, backed by our more than 49 years experience in titles and closings. We get the job done on time at a fair price and ensure every last detail is correct. Our goal is to give you peace of mind when you work with us, you work with people who live where you do. We understand the importance of the real estate community and strive to build strong relationships with all parties involved in the process. Whether you're buying a home, selling a business, acquiring land, or anything in between, you're in good hands with Title and Escrow of Lawrence County. Put the most experienced closing team on your side. Contact Title and Escrow of Lawrence County today. Back here is Jackson Bennett, is the new pitcher here for Summertown. Keegan McCaffrey will go in to right, and Bennett, designated hitter, is now the new pitcher. First guy he will face is Carter McKay, runner on second, two gone here in the bottom of the second inning. First pitch he throws, misses high for ball one. First Good. outing here, Timmy, for Jackson in a while since the Mount Pleasant doubleheader. Had a little pulled muscle problem for a week or so. We're trying to get over. And he'll hit McKay there, second hit batter of the game by Summertown pitching. Now brings up Britt Fowler, the pitcher. One for one already with an RBI single in the previous inning. Now we got two on, two gone. They're aimed for that four-hole hitter. Our Summertown pitcher's aimed for this four-hole hitter not to swing the bat today, A.J. Well, that's one way to do it. <laughs> Well, it's we a, walked him the a, first time. It's a creative way to it's, do it. We walked him the first time, and we hit him this time, so – Kind of like getting pressure on a quarterback. Yeah. Keep hitting them and hitting them. <laughs> yeah. You hit them enough, though. <laughs> that kid's so big down there, I don't think hitting them enough is going to hurt him. I don't know. He's waving that arm around yeah. out there like it hurt a little bit. Yeah. You hit them in the right spot. That's true. Don't care how big That's they are. True. They'll go down. First pitch here was a strike to Fowler in the 0-1. That one misses away for ball one. They try to pick off there, and that one gets away from and Burleson. They, they hit him again. They're just going for, my gosh. Zach, Zach's like, hitting him in the knee now. It's like a pro wrestling match. We're just going for different body parts, <laughs> elbows, knees. Well, he's playing third, too, so they yeah. might be trying to slow him down so he can't feel the bump. Yeah. Oh. Here's a 1-1. One, one. Runners are going to take off. That's a breaking ball, and Staggs won't be able to get that one. This count goes to two balls and one strike. Next pitch here from Bennett, that misses high, and the count goes to three balls and one strike. Bennett's got some velocity here, just trying to work and find it in the strike zone. In the 3-1. Fouled away, and the count goes full with three balls and two strikes. Here 
And the full count offering. This is high and away for ball four. And now the bases are loaded with two gone here in the bottom of the second. Brings up the right fielder and Peyton Goolsby. Reach via an air in the first inning. Courtesy runner yep. back in. Fargus. Yep. Here we are again with two outs and can't seem to get out of any. First pitch here is fouled away. Second time, second straight inning. They've gotten the bases loaded with two outs. In the 0-1. That one's in the dirt. A good block by Zach behind the plate. Count goes on one ball and one strike. Stag saving a run in that situation. Wing continues to howl out the right center. And the 1-1. One -one. In the dirt. Runner's going to stay put. The count goes to two balls and one strike. And the 2-1 here from Bennett on the inside corner for strike two. They even up the count of two balls and two strikes. And the 2-2 in the dirt and another good block by Staggs and the count goes full. And the full count offering. Swung on a miss for strike three, and that one will end the inning. Tigers get another run in the bottom of the second. They lead it three to nothing as we go to the top of the third next on the Exports Network. Head on over to Shaw Southeast Distributing in Lawrenceburg to find everything you need for your home, business, or fundraiser. To make life easier, Shaw Southeast Distributing now accepts EBT cards. Have a concession stand, food truck, or just your kitchen at home? Leave it to Shaw to fill your shelves with ease. Shaw Southeast Distributing delivers. Family owned and operated. Phone 931-762-7760. Follow us on Facebook or visit us at 1603 Ripke Avenue in Lawrenceburg. The Summit of Lawrenceburg is the premier senior and assisted living community in the region. The Summit makes it home for you or your loved one with diverse suites that welcome and encourage community, plus gathering spaces, neighborhoods, daily activities, and a wonderful staff that supports you every day. Hi, I'm Tara Blue. I'm the new director of the Summit, and we would like to invite you and your family to come into our facility. We would love to see you here. Back here, Gary Landfill. We go to the top of the third. Summertown trailing Arlington three to nothing. Eight nine one due up for the Eagles. Jackson Bennett, the new pitcher, to lead things off here. Brett Fowler on for his third inning of work through two. No runs off a hit. No walks, four strikeouts through 32 pitches. First one here to Bennett. Tapper, right back to Fowler. He'll run over the first, tosses it, and that will be the first out in the inning. One gone. Here in the top of the third, now brings up the nine-hole hitter, Matthew Luthman. Timmy's really kind of settled into that role there near the bottom of the lineup, doing a pretty good job so far. Yeah, he's, he's kind of bounced around the lineup at least well, as we started, but he's kind of settled in here in the nine-hole, playing second base for us. First pitch here from Fowler. Breaking ball in there for strike one. Here's the 0 1. Swung on a miss for strike two. Foul 
Fowler now steps off, resets himself. The 0-2 pitch on the outside corner for strike three, and that's the second out of the inning. Fifth strikeout of the game for Fowler. Brings us to the top of the order here with Case and Blackwood. Grounded out on a check swing tapper and was thrown out by the catcher and Jack Pitts in the first inning. First pitch from Fowler, and that's a breaking ball. That misses in for ball one. Here's a 1 out. Breaking ball swung on a miss for strike one. Here's a 1 1. This is away for ball two. Two and one the count here to Blackwood. I think it's a rare time that Fowler's fallen behind in the count so far in this game. And the next pitch. It's a ground ball here to short. He runs in, throw to first, is in time, and that will be the final out of the inning. Three up, three down for the Eagles here in the top of the third. It's a three to nothing Arlington Lee as we go to the bottom half of the inning next on the X Sports Network. If you want the best clean and wash experience, you need to catch the happy wave at Tidal Wave Auto Spa. Don't settle for streaks, dirt residue, water spots, and weak vacuums that you can get at just any car wash. At all our locations, you will be greeted by a smiling attendant who will pre-wash your car front and back to remove any stubborn bugs and dirt before guiding you through the tunnel, where your car will be treated to the ultimate spa treatment with state-of-the-art equipment and one-of-a-kind wash experience that will give your car a showroom shine. Afterwards, you can help yourself to our free powerful vacuums, cleaning cloths, and glass and surface cleaner for the perfect finishing touch. When it comes to caring for your car, don't settle for any wash and pay for all the extras. Get the best when you catch the happy wave at your local Tidal Wave Auto Spa. Back here in the bottom of the third inning, Arlington leading Summertown three to nothing. Due up for the Tigers, seven, eight, nine with Bearden, Williams, and Tillman. Jackson Bennett back on for a first full inning of work through a third of an inning, has a walk and a strikeout through 14 pitches. Bearden, who was hit by a pitch with the bases loaded in the first inning, this one off the end of the bat. Good effort there by Luffman. Hit it hard enough, and that's going to be an infield single. Fourth hit of the game here for the Tigers. Now brings up the center fielder and Slade Williams. Williams 0 for 1 with the fly out the right. And that one ended the first inning. Major League Baseball right now. Twins and the Tigers in a rain delay. Pirates and the Phillies just underway. 0-0 there in the middle of the first. So it's Will Pettis' favorite scoreboard because it says poop on it. Because <laughs> Will, Will sent us a uh, screenshot and circled the uh, scoreboard. The scoreboard. Yeah. First pitch on the outside corner for strike one. If you want to, anyone who's got the uh, MLB TV, go watch that game and you can see with the P, the zeros, and the other P. That, uh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah, Phillies and Pirates. Yeah, Phillies, Phillies and Pirates. Pirates there we go. Yeah. yeah, he's got his he headset ca on. He caught it. Got his headset on now. He caught it. <laughs> he was kind of lost there for me. Yeah. Right? First pitch here from Bennett. That one misses away. The second pitch, excuse me, misses away for ball one on a pitch out. Bearden 
Getting a big lead over there first for the Tigers. Another pick off. Also got Zion Christian leading the Red in softball right now. Three to nothing. One on. And they're going to get a pickoff yeah, attempt did. there. They get him that time. Got him enough time. Threw it over there enough and got him off track. And that will be the first out of the inning. One and one, the count here with one gone. Next pitch. This is lined in the left field. And that will be a base hit. First hit of the game for Williams, sixth hit of the game here, for fifth hit, excuse me, for the Tigers. Brings up the designated hitter in Sean Tillman, struck out looking. His first at bat in the second inning. His first time facing off with Bennett. He's got a decent lead at first. First pitch, foul back for strike one. Yeah, all these guys are getting a pretty good lead over at first. And Jackson certainly paying attention to it. Something I was not good at. You, you maybe caught me two feet off the bag at, at best. That breaking ball misses away for ball one. I was spoiled in my high school with uh, the old school turf, and we had dirt cutouts. So we, we kind of knew where yeah. to put our feet and not to put our feet. Here's the 1-1. One, one. This is high and away for ball two. Another pickoff attempt. He's bound and determined to get those gray uniforms dirty. Yeah, he's going to make them stay a little closer yeah. over. Now he's he takes gone. off. And, and he's going to get in there safely. Zach ain't had a pitch to even try to throw anybody out on. Every time they, when they do go, they, they're picking mm -hmm. the right pitches, mm -hmm. breaking pitch in the dirt. Or, mm -hmm. That one was way out on Zach. He had to go get The 3-1. This is away for ball four. Runner's not going to take off for third. Here's the throw. Not in time, and he's safe. Now runners on the corners. We go to the top of the order here with Parker Peeler, 0 for 2. Got a fly out in the left in the first and a soft line out to short in the second. On with runners on the corners, one gone. Tigers with a three to nothing lead here in the bottom of the third. Does the fake first to third pickoff move? First pitch. This is high for ball one. And the 1-0 -oh. misses away, a breaking ball for ball two. And the 2-0, -oh. this is high for ball three. Comes a 3-0. This is high for ball four. Third walk issued by Bennett. Fourth, fourth walk by Eagle pitching in the sixth free pass with the two hit by pitches. Now the bases are loaded, one gone. Brings up Jack Hibbert in the short stop. Reach base safely twice, single in the first, walk in the second, has scored a run in both the bats. Now the coach Jason Burleson making his way out to the mound. And now at 27 pitches. Well, I was fixing to ask AJ yeah. how many pitches you had him at. 20, you got 27. I've yep. got 27. We both got 27. They are getting him. Looks like we are going to go to Huckable. So, 
while they're swapping sides, we'll take a little break. This is uh, Summertown Baseball on Exports Network. Shop McMaster's Home Gallery for furniture, appliances, and more. And shop quality, shop convenience, shop service, shop local. A family-owned business with a long history of serving the region. We're a one-stop home furnishings destination. We feature brands you know, competitively priced, backed by professional installation and service. You can trust that we'll take good care of you before and after the sale. For your home, shop smart. Shop McMaster's Home Gallery today. Do you ever worry about having too much in the garage? What about where you're going to put the mower or your ATV or better yet, your mother-in-law? Look no further than Quality Storage Buildings located right next door to Flat Rock Cheese and More on the Minor Hill Highway in Pulaski, Tennessee. There you'll find the answer to your need in a compact or spacious metal building. Built by hand right at Flat Rock by some of the finest craftsmen around, there's a perfect building for everyone, including economy, utility, cabin, lofted or garage models, and even an animal shelter line. Buy or rent to own, see the different models at Flat Rock or on North Main Street in Ardmore and on Highway 43 South in Dunn. Call today, 931-363-3603 or 931-201-2205. Elijah Huckabuzz, a new pitcher, into the game here for Summertown. Relieves Jackson Bennett. Went two thirds in the inning, two hits, no runs, three walks, a strikeout. Finished with 27 pitches. He inherits a bases loaded, one out situation here in the bottom of the third against Jack Hibbard. First pitch misses low for ball one. Hey, Jay, this is a kid that's come in and thrown some innings for us here and has been a big help with the arms. I've seen him. Look Few times come out of that bullpen and shut some lineups down. Here's a 1 0. This is high for ball two. Here's a 2 0. Hit in the right field. McCafferty's going to slip, and that one's going to get out of his reach. One run is in. Relay trying to get the guy at third. That one's going to get away. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And three runs are going to score. It's two for sure, and then one off of the air, so that makes it six to three, Arlington. Off which air? Well, I don't know. Can you, since he slipped and didn't touch the ball, is that a? I don't. I'm not sure. How uh, that's not an error. Yeah. It's, I guess yeah. if you slip and you don't yeah. touch it, it's yeah. not an error. No, no. I it's, think it's, the error was him falling down. <laughs> well, that's a physical. Well, I mean, an, an error by uh, the baseball gods, but in the scorebook, it's got to yes. go down. As a First pitch here to Jack Pitts. This is away for ball one. And the one up, misses him for ball two. One of the one famous incident as a Cubs fan I remember, they had a walk off against the Pirates the year they won the World Series because uh, uh, Polanco and Wright tripped over his own cleats <laughs> with the bases loaded on a two out pop up. Next pitch breaking ball, misses him, 3-0. Did you say the Cubs won the World Series? Oh my goodness. When was, when was that? <laughs> I missed that too one. Long, too long ago. As a Cubs fan, that was too long. 3 0 has popped up in the air. Staggs, he will make the catch, and that will be the second out of the inning. Brings up Carter McKay. Reached via an air in the first inning and scored, and then was hit by a pitch in the second. First pitch here from Huckaba. Ground ball down the right field line for strike one. A foul ball down the right field line, I should say. First base coach waved at it as it went by. 
It's a good effort. I don't think I want to touch anything this kid hits without a glove on my hand. Here's the 0-1. That misses away for ball one. And the 1-1. One -one. Hit high in the air, but that one's going to get out of play for strike two. Got some room down the in foul territory here, Gary Lamb Field. We're not talking kind of foul territory you have at the Bay Brew Field in Lawrenceburg. No, no, not quite that much. They steal quite a bit here. Yeah. Here's a 1-2. That one misses away, even at the count of two balls and two strikes. That's uh, – Oakland type foul territory right. there at the, the Bay Roof field. And the 2 2. Grayson Burleson makes the catch on the line drive, and that one will end the inning. Arlington adds three in the bottom of the third. They lead it six to nothing. The Eagles try to answer in the top of the fourth when we return on the Exports Network. If you're stuck, then you're in luck. Call Tower McDowell with in service towing 24 hours a day, seven days a week for quick, reliable service. When you find yourself in a bind, in service offers full service towing and recovery services as well as vehicle lockouts, jump starts, and emergency roadside assistance. Family owned, family operated. When you need a hand, call in service towing or ask for them by name. Serving Southern Tennessee and North Alabama. Phone number 931 843 9098 or visit inservicespecialties.com. Truitt's Garage Doors in Leoma, Tennessee is your one stop for new garage door installations for all commercial and residential buildings, plus they offer full service on all existing doors. Need a new garage door opener? Truitt's Garage Doors has you covered. As an Amar Gold and LiftMaster dealer, Truitt's Garage Doors offers the best pricing anywhere in the area. A family owned and operated business, Truitt's Garage Doors has been helping Tennessee and Alabama residents since 1999. Call the pros today at Truitt's Garage Doors, 931-201-6464. We head to the top of the fourth. Arlington leading Summertown here, six to nothing. Two, three, four, do up for the Eagles. Grayson Burleson to lead things off. A single in the left in his first at bat in the first inning. Brett Fowler on for his fourth inning of work through three. A hit, no runs, no walks, five strikeouts through 40 pitches. And there's pitch 41. Hit high in the air, really high in the air. Will stay on the infield. And a good job there by the first baseman and the Bearden to make the catch, and that's the first out of the inning. That's a big league pop-up. Yeah, he most definitely had plenty of time to get yeah. back there in and under it. Grayson could have ended up on second as high as that was in, as long as that was in the air. Brings up Kane Kinning, struck out looking his first at bat in the first inning. First, second time here against Fallon. Breaking ball, misses low and away for ball one. Same Arlington team will face off with Loretto right after the conclusion of this game. Here's a one up. Swung on a miss for strike one. And the one one. Ground ball over to Bearden first. And he's made both of the outs so far here in the uh, top of the fourth inning. Brings up the left fielder, Naden Perez, flew out the center on a great diving catch out there in the center field by Slade Williams. That ended the first inning and kept a run from scoring in that situation. First pitch here to Perez. 
on the outside corner for strike one. Well, we know the first baseman can make a play this inning, AJ. Let's see if we can get somebody else to make one. <laughs> this team's pretty good defensively from what we've seen so far. Absolutely. Next pitch misses in the dirt for ball one. I don't know as much as uh, you guys beat up their third baseman, might want to try him. <laughs> gets hit by a pitch and then gets a pick off off the knee. And then, but he's next to bat. He didn't line one right, yeah, right towards yeah, Grayson. He, yeah, he didn't act like it affected him much. It was a 1-1. One -one. Breaking ball in there for strike two. And the one, two, just misses away. Evens up the count here, two balls and two strikes. And the two, two. Tip back and caught for strike three, and that's the final out of the inning. Six strikeout of the game for Fowler. It's a 6 nothing Arlington lead as we go to the bottom of the fourth here on the Exports Network. Tennessee Flight Training. We are training the next generation of pilots. Come and see why Tennessee Flight Training is the best way to learn to fly. Tennessee Flight Training. The skies are calling. And back here at Gary Landfield, we go to the bottom of the fourth. Arlington leading Summertown 6 2 nothing. 5 6 7 due up for the Tigers. Britt Fowler, pitcher due up here. One for one in the game. RBI single in the first and walked in the second. First pitch here from Huckaba, and this one is lined in the right field for a base hit. Seventh hit of the game for the Tigers. Brings up the right fielder in Peyton Goolsby. 0 for 2, reached via an error in the first and struck out swinging in the second. Huckaba got out of a bit of a jam there. The previous inning, one for his first full inning of work here. Now batting, Not a big lead over there at first by Fowler. Right. No, that's, uh, right, that's a courtesy runner, yeah. Seven. That's, yeah, Vargas. First pitch here from Huckabah, misses low and away for ball one. Tries another pickoff, not in time. Try to get him on his way out that time, AJ. Yeah. He's This one, ground ball, that will get through the left side. And back-to-back -back singles. It's two on, nobody out here in the bottom of the fourth. Brings up the first baseman and Tucker Bearden, one for one. Bases loaded, hit by pitch in the first and singled in the third. And made two of the three outs in the previous inning defensively. So runners on first and second. Nobody gone here in the bottom of the fourth. First pitch, this is high and in for ball one. And 
And the 1-0. Swung on a miss for strike one. Evens up the count of one ball, one strike. And the 1-1. One, one. It's a pitch out. And they got him at first. And the head coach for head Arlington. Head coach going to come out on that one. Yeah, he is not happy about that. And he's saying he missed him by, what, three feet? Nah, that's four he, feet. That was at least three. I don't know what his reach yeah. is, but. Of course, I mean, the home plate umpire can't – I don't know that he can change that because no. it was at his backside. He was looking at Grayson's backside. He Now you got home plate in the field umpire having a discussion here. And they're going to stick with it as he's out. What would you have, Will? Yeah, but he did. I don't. If he got him, I don't know. Can't really see the tag in the replay. Next pitch. That one misses away to make it ball three. We got one gone here. Runner on second. He'll step off. In the 3 1. Fouled away. Makes a count full of three balls and two strikes. Full count offering, and he's going to miss for ball four. Not going to bring up Slade Williams, the center fielder. Williams, who's one for two, flew out to right in the first and singled and scored a run in the third. One gone, runners on the corners. First pitch here from Huckabo on the outside corner for strike one. And the 0-1 misses away for ball one. And the 1-1, one, one. lined here to Blackwood at short, throws over the first, throw over the second is in time, and that one will end the inning. Double play ends things for Arlington here in the bottom of the fourth. It's a 6-0 Tiger lead as we go to the top of the fifth next on the X Sports Network. For decades, First Class Charter has provided high quality motor coach transportation services to the Tennessee Valley. With numerous safety and cleanliness accreditations, First Class Charter is ready to make your group trip a reality. Contact us today by visiting firstclasscharter.net. First Class Charter, the official motor coach company of the North Alabama Lions.
Back here in the top of the fifth at Gary Land, Phil Arnington leading Summertown here, six to nothing. Zach Staggs will lead things off for the Eagles. 0 for 1 with a strikeout in the second inning. Britt Fowler on for his fifth inning of work. Through four, he's given up no runs off a hit, no walks, six strikeouts. As Stag sends this one down the right field line. Foul for strike one. As Fowler's now at 50 pitches. Fowler's been hard to barrel up here. The only one that's made decent contact so far was Grayson Burleson with the single. Yeah, we have one hit on the day. One Grayson's hit. line drive to left field. Mm -hmm. Second batter of the game. Here's the 0-1. This is high for ball one. Got some activity in the Arlington bullpen. I don't know if they're just a couple guys just stretching around or if it's anything serious over there. It's the 1-1. One, one. This one's lined up the middle right on time here at Timmy. Lead off single here from Stags. Puts one on. Nobody out here. The top of the fifth inning brings up the freshman and Ryder Blackwood. Struck out swinging his first at bat in the second inning. I'll play the umpire coming to the tell the Arlington dugout something. Yep, no courtesy runners. Nope. Stags is still out there at first. One on, nobody out. First pitch here from Fowler. It's on the outside corner for strike one. And the 0-1. This is high and away for ball one. Pick here at first base. And the throw's not in time. And out the replay, pretty good. Uh, almost looked like a pitch out there. And there's a 1-1. That one misses away for ball two. Ryder still squaring the bunt. Try to get him again. Throws not in time. And the 2-1. Swung on a miss for strike two. Evens up the count here. Two balls and two strikes. Two two. Just misses away. Blackwood works a full count here. Three balls, two strikes, one on nobody out here on the top of the fifth. And Staggs gets back in time here at first. Trying to catch him on that final in midway through that final step there. And the full count offering, Stax takes off and Blackwood fouls that one back. Six pitch of the at bat here, good battle here between Blackwood and, F and Fowler. Stax takes off again, that one's fouled back again by Blackwood. Ryder having a good at bat right here, AJ. Yeah. He's done this quite often this season for us. Drew quite a few walks. Yeah, that's how. That's how you get better. Learn how to learn yeah, how to work gotta, at bats. Got to have two strike at bats. Another pick off of Stags. And that nice white uniform. Perfectly brown and dirty. It's 
Stax takes off again, the pitch. And that one is low for ball four. So first thread here from Summertown in the game. 2-1, nobody out here in the top of the fifth. First time they've gotten a pair of base runners on base. Brings up Keegan McCafferty to right fielder. Struck out looking in his first to bat in the second. Coach, pitching coach, I assume, for Arlington making his way out to the mound. Don't see anybody working in the bullpen here. No, I don't figure they're going to make a change here. Looks like we do have Huckable yep. on day. Yep. So he will be hitting in Jackson's spot. A score update here. Loretta softball trailing Zion Christian five to nothing in the bottom of the third. And looks like Zion's got two on, one out in that inning. Also, well, no, same game. I thought you were <laughs> flipping around games. I'm like, wow, this is great. <laughs> will learns another trick. Kevin, Kevin's a two-camera. He's a two-trick pony. Will's, Will's got about four, and I've got one. I'm trying to work on the two-trick. I just, I just try to follow the lead. <laughs> just hang out in the back. McCafferty looking like he's going to square around the bunt, pulls it back, and it's a ground ball. That's going to get through the left side. Or a good job by the shortstop, and he's going to hang on to it. Yeah, it's an infield single here, guys. Bases loaded, nobody out here in the top of the fifth inning. That one couldn't have worked out any better here for the Eagles. Brings up Huckabuck for his first at bat. Bases loaded, nobody out. Looks like we've got a pinch hitter coming in. Cecil Williams on deck. Looks like he's going to hit in Matthew's thing. spot. Yeah. Yep. Nick Moore about busting his rear end down there. Well, that would have been funny. <laughs> it would have been. First pitch, swung on a miss for strike one. I'd pay to see that, AJ. Yeah. And we got all this nice stuff in this great press box here at Loretta. And, of course, leave it to Nick Moore to break something. You know? <laughs> Here's the 1 Swung on a miss on the breaking ball for strike two. See, Huck sneak one through the three four yeah. hole over here would be nice. That's a corner infield playing in. Middle infield, not exactly a double play depth. Outfield's playing shallow. The 0 2. Swung on a miss for strike three in the first out of the inning. Brings up Cecil Williams, will be the pitch hitter in the situation here for the Eagles. with the bases loaded. One gone here in the top of the fifth inning. Teaksel's had a couple of these situations this year, A.J., and has come up for us big a couple of times. You know, done it in Lawrence County. Yeah, oh, yeah. Been there. First pitch here from Fowler. Fastball in there for strike one. Top of the order with Blackwood. He's on deck. The Eagles would love to get Grayson up in this situation. The 0 1. Swung on a miss for strike two. Williams down 0 2 here in the count. Fowler now at 66 pitches. And the 0 2. This is in the dirt, low and away for ball one, trying to find his favorite spot on the outside corner at the knees. And the one, two. And Williams gets a good cut on it, fouls it away. He's starting to try to get the timing of that fastball. And the one, two. 
Swung on a miss for strike three, and that's the second out of the inning. Back-to-back -back strikeouts here for Fowler. Base is still loaded, two gone. Brings us to the top of the order of Case and Blackwood. 0 for 2 with a pair of ground outs in the first and third inning. First pitch. Swung on a miss for strike one. And here comes the 0-1. Breaking ball, ground ball down the left field line, but foul for strike two. Going to the count here at the top of the order for the Eagles. Blackwood's going to have to be tough here with two strikes and two outs. And the 2-0-2. Oh, two. It's sent into the glove of the third baseman. That looked like it might have gotten through. And a good play out there at third there by McKay, and that one will end the inning. The Eagles strand the bases on the top of the fifth. They trail six to nothing. Let's so go to the bottom half of the inning next on the Exports Network. From our humble beginnings to today, Parks Lumber Company has continuously served Lawrence and surrounding counties for over a century. Although we started as a small lumber yard in 1896, we have grown to include everything you need to make your dream project come to life. No matter your building needs, our experienced staff will be with you every step of the way to ensure you receive the highest customer service and attention to detail you deserve. Visit us at 106 Second Street or on Facebook. We guarantee you will see working with PLC is as easy as one, two, three. Here in the bottom of the fifth inning, Arlington leading Summertown 6 to nothing, 9-1-2. Due up here for the Tigers, Sean Tillman to lead things off. First pitch here from Huckabah, skied in the air here to center. Blackwood coming in on it, he makes the catch. That's the first out of the inning. Brings us to the top of the order here on Parker Peeler, 0 for 2. Fly out, fly out a soft line out, walking a run scored here in the third. Huckabee here through two innings has given up three hits, no runs, a walk, no strikeouts now through 25 pitches. Back at the top of the order here for the fourth time for the Tigers. First pitch, that one is fouled back for strike one. Comes the 0-1 here from Huckabee, breaking ball. Foul back again for strike two. And the 0-2. We're in there for strike three, and that's the second out of the inning. First strike out of the game for Huckabee, but two, two gone quickly here in the bottom of the fifth. Brings up the dangerous Jack Hibbard. Two for two in the game, a single, a two-run double. Walked, and he has scored two runs in the game. Huckabee 
and try to be the first to keep him off the base paths. It's the first pitch. This is away for ball one. And the 1 0. This is away for ball two. And update. Hardin County and Lawrence County softball. Wildcat Lady Cats leading it 6 to 4, but Hardin County's got the bases loaded with two outs on the top of the sixth inning. Lady Cats trying to get some redemption after losing at Hardin County a couple weeks ago. Next pitch by Huckabub misses high and in for ball three. 3 0 the count here to Hibbert. Next pitch skied in the air. This one's going to stay in play. Huckaba going to make the catch, and that one will end the inning. Three up, three down for the Tigers in the bottom of the fifth. They lead six to nothing as we go to the top of the six. Next on the Exports Network. Efficiency, reliability, accuracy. Move forward with your real estate sale or purchase with title and escrow of Lawrence County, the most experienced closing team around. Working with clients locally and throughout the state, we offer a wide range of services, including the expertise of an on-staff attorney, backed by our more than 49 years experience in titles and closings. We get the job done on time at a fair price and ensure every last detail is correct. Our goal is to give you peace of mind. When you work with us, you work with people who live where you do. We understand the importance of the real estate community and strive to build strong relationships with all parties involved in the process. Whether you're buying a home, selling a business, acquiring land, or anything in between, you're in good hands with title and escrow of Lawrence County. Put the most experienced closing team on your side. Contact title and escrow of Lawrence County today. Back at Gary Landfield, we go to the top of the sixth. Summertown trailing Arlington 6 2 0. 2 3 4 do up for the Eagles. Grayson Burleson to lead things off. One, one for two, single in the first, and a pop out to the first baseman in the fourth. Fowler on for a sixth inning of work through five. No runs off three hits. A walk, eight strikeouts through 72 pitches. 73 skied in the air to right center field, and the center fielder. <laughs> Having to make the yeah. play well, out the there. Well, the right-footer didn't have a clue where that yeah. was. I mean, I, we were just talking about that. That sun out there is miserable at yeah. this time of day. Yeah. Uh, he never saw it. And no. He didn't even move either. And no. Slade Williams got yeah. ranged all the way over to make the catch. Brings up Kane Kenning, 0 for 2 in the game. Timmy's going to make him walk home if he doesn't reach base here. No, I didn't say that. <laughs> but that's a good idea. <laughs> Oh, now I'm feeding them ideas. First pitch, breaking ball, misses high for ball one. And the 1 0. This is a hard hit ball to McKay at third, and the throw over to first is in time for the second out of the inning. Hard hit ball, but unfortunately results in an out. So two gone here in the top of the sixth. Brings up Aiden Perez, 0 for 2. Fly out the center in the first, struck out swinging in the fourth. I don't think I've seen a third baseman at the high school level get rid of a ball that quickly that on quick, the ground no, ball. That was, that was like a quarterback and shotgun throw into a slant in the end zone. First pitch, swung on a miss for strike one. The 0-1, breaking ball. 
In there for strike two. And the 0-2. Misses away at the fastball for ball one. He's most definitely worked that corner out there all night, though. He goes, he goes 0-2. He's going to be out there about six, seven inches. He's trying to get you to chase. That's a good spot. Because not too far enough outside. It's yes. enough, to, enough to trick the eyeballs. It's the one, two. Send in the left field, and that one's going to get down. Base hit by Perez. He's going to make the big turn of first. He's going in the second. Here's the throw. Not in time, and a double by Aiden Perez with two outs. So their first extra base hit of the game. It's another runner in scoring position in back-to-back -back innings. Brings up Zach Staggs, one for two with the single up the middle in the fifth. Struck out swinging in the second. It's a good heads-up base running there by Perez to pick up a double, put himself in scoring position. Now he left the box thinking two. Yeah. Hey, J.S., well, if you're going to get them on – Team like this, and that was actually a good throw by the left it footer to really get in that quick. I mean, it was pretty yeah. – he made it tight. I mean, yeah. some umpires might have called him out there. You know, this is certainly close. First pitch here from Fowler. Breaking ball swung on a miss for strike one. There's a replay. Yeah, he missed him. Good job by Aiden sliding to the inside part of the bag there. Here's the 0-1. Misses in for ball one. Fallon now at 81 pitches here through five and two thirds. And the 1-1. One -one. Breaking ball, that one is sent in the center field. Williams comes in, makes the catch, and that one will end the inning. Eagles Stram won the top of the six. Arlington leads six to nothing as we go to the bottom half of the inning next on the Exports Network. Do you have a small farm, a big farm, or just critters in the backyard to feed? If you answered yes to any of those questions, then you need to make the short drive down to A&B Feeds in Etheridge, Tennessee today. Owner and operator Jamie Ayers has you covered and will treat you right. That's A&B Feeds in Etheridge, Tennessee. Back here, Gary and Land Fields. We go to the bottom of the six here. Arlington leading Summertown 6 2 0. New pitcher into the game for the Eagles will be Braden Keaton. He will face three, four, and five for the Tigers. Jack Pitts will lead things off and went for three. RBI double in the second. Flew out the center in the first and popped up to the catcher in the third. First pitch from Keaton. This is high and in for ball one. Comes in for Huckaba through two and two thirds innings. Three hits, no runs. A walk, a strikeout, and finished through 32 pitches. Pitch there from Keaton is in there for strike one, even up the count of one ball, one strike. Keaton working quickly, the 1-1 one, one on the outside corner for strike two. 
He found that spot pretty quick. Yeah, he did. Comes a one-two. Breaking ball on the outside corner for strike three, and that's the first out of the inning. So Keaton faces the three-hole hitter for the Tigers and punches him out on four pitches for the first out. Faces the third baseman now, the four-hole hitter, and Carter McKay, 0 for 2. Reached via an error, scored a run in the first, hit by a pitch in the second, and lined out to Grayson Burleson at first in the third. First pitch from Keaton, that misses high for ball one. And the 1-0. This one is hit hard in the center field, and that gets over Blackwood's head. And that one rolled under what, something under the wall. Well, it's a it's a drain. A drain out there. It, I it, see it. Okay. It is a uh, a five inch hole, and that ball never checked up. Went right straight in it, yeah. right out, right out of the park. That's a ground rule double there from McKay. Brings up the pitcher and Britt Fowler. He's two for two in the game. Pair of singles, walking an RBI. Did you get a video of that ball going in that hole, Will? You ain't that quick. You, can, you, had well, it, you could I, see it go through. I see you had it zoomed up there. If you, I wanted like a zoomed in picture. No, I didn't get it. He's won that Bally Sports Braves yeah. thing there. Hey, hey, we're we're a company three years into existence. It's slowly but surely going to happen. Runner on second, one out here in the bottom of the sixth inning. First pitch from Keaton. Breaking ball misses low and away for ball one. And the 1 0. This is away for ball two. And the 2 0. And this is away for ball three. And the 3-0, that one's in there for strike one. It's almost like a bullpen day today here, Timmy. It is. Guys getting no, we got district games Monday and Tuesday, so I'm sure we're trying to get everybody a few in. Three ones in there for strike two. Good job of Braden come back 3-0. He's found that outside corner. He can live there. Home plate umpire has been consistent with him from start to finish. Next pitch from Keaton. This one is lined in the right field and will get down for a base hit. McKay is rounding third. He will score, and that makes it seven to nothing, Arlington. The one out single there by Fowler, his second RBI of the game, and his third hit. Brings up the right fielder and Peyton Goolsby, one for three in the game. Reach via an air in the first, struck out swinging in the second, and singled in the fourth. It's first a bat here against Keaton. First pitch, this is in for ball one. In the 1 0. Breaking ball in there for strike one. Last time I saw Keaton, he came away. Pretty good performance shutting down the red hot Lawrence County offense in that win at Tom Cruise Field. 1-1. One, one. Breaking ball in there for strike two. Another one of our younger guys that, you know, we expected to get some out of. We've got a lot more out of him this year than, you know, was expected. So he's done a good job. 1-2. This one is sending the left field. Perez coming in on it. He makes the catch, and that's the second out of the inning. Two gone here in the bottom of the sixth. Watching Grayson here when uh, Braden comes set, and he's having to use his glove to block the sun so he can even see the pitcher. For, for any fielder, that's a nightmare, but yes. when you, especially when you're playing first base, it's yeah. really a nightmare. Brings up Tucker Beard in the first baseman. He's walked, he's been walked, hit by a pitch, and singled, and we got a, a pickoff. And now the they're home. they're hollering it was a ball. Yeah. Umpire yeah, calls him out. Yeah. 
They're going out to talk about it. Uh, I think I missed the pitch. Huh? Yeah. You missed the pitch? I missed it. I think Will missed it. Yeah, and they're going to call a balk now. They are going to call the balk. Yeah. Coach Bartison is going to come out and have the conversation with the umpire here. I didn't see it, so I – Yeah, I was trying to – Will messed up again. Dang gum it, Will. <laughs> one job. You know, I love you, man, but you got one job. <laughs> Just because you've got 19 computers over here in front of you and you're moving 43 knobs. And texting somebody. And I don't texting. Know how he does all and, this. and keeping up with eight other ball games that's going on. And I don't know what you do with all these buttons. You want me to start hitting some of these? I can help. Hey, this thing says it'll handle up to seven cameras, Will. Can you – can you handle seven? <laughs> so, Coach Burst is still on the field arguing with Garland now. They they do call the balk. Yeah. Do move the runner to second. We do come back on the field here with two outs. Bearden can get another chance here to drive in a run. Does have a bases loaded hit by pitch so far. He's reached base in all three at bats. First pitch here. This is away for ball one. And the one up on the outside corner for strike one. The one one breaking ball. That one's squibbed off the end of the bat. Burleson finds Keaton a good That's play a good, there. That was a good job by Keaton. He almost paused there, but I think Grayson hollered, keep coming, get the bag, get the bag. So he he did get over there for the third out of the inning. So. Arlington gets one, the bottom of the sixth. Final chance for Summertown comes up in the top of the seventh. That's next here on the Exports Network. Old School Rentals in Loretto, Tennessee is headquarters for all your rental equipment needs. Need a trailer? How about saws, tools, loaders, or generators? You can find all of that and much, much more at Old School Rentals. Owner Ryan Smith, located on North Main Street in Loretto, Tennessee. New pitcher into the game here for Arlington. Coming in from uh, third base will be uh, Carter McKay as Fowler just moves over to third. Fowler, six innings, four hits, no runs, a walk, eight strikeouts, and finished with 82 pitches. Ryder Blackwood, the lead things off for the Eagles, 0 for 1 in the game. Struck out in the second, walked in the first, walked in the fifth, excuse me. Takes a first pitch in the dirt for ball one. I get no. Uh, bounced off the dirt and hit the catcher in the helmet. Ryder looked at him and said, you all right? As <laughs> hard as this. Catcher's looking at the yeah. pitcher, shaking his head like, oh, I don't know what that was, yeah. but don't do it again. Kay has got a cannon on his right arm. It's the one up. On the outside corner for strike one. And the 1-1. One, one. Tapper 
Here to Fowler at third. He'll throw over to first, and ooh, that one will get away. Potter's going to move up to second on it. So the first error of the game here for the Tigers, but the runner in scoring position, nobody out here in the top of the seventh inning. Brings up Keegan McCafferty to right fielder, one for two. Struck out looking in the second. Had a field single in the fifth. Sorry, I muted, muted you, AJ. Timmy's have one job. I do, one hitting the job. mute button. I'm, I'm hitting him at the wrong time down here. <laughs> Runner on second, nobody out here for McCafferty. Had an infield single in his previous at bat. First pitch misses high for ball one. Ryder's got to get rid of his yeah. elbow guard so he can put his muffin mitt on. Yeah. What do you think about a muffin mitt, AJ? Timmy loves them. Oh, you like you like the muffin mitts? No. <laughs> no? No. I mean, we're not Your getting muffins school? out of the oven. Come on. Them's uh, grandma things. I never slid head first, so I, I don't have much of an opinion on it. Next pitch misses away for ball two. I do see why guys do it because, you know, it jams up their hands. But, I, you know. I think the reason to do it because it adds four inches to their hand. It makes them longer. Everyone on the team should have one then. Yeah. Here's a 2-0 on the outside corner for strike one. Come on. I'm expecting some of them to show up sometime wearing like grandmas with like the pink flowers yeah. and stuff on it. You know, that's or maybe maybe they should get mechanical arms and say that you know the right arm is amputated or yeah. something like that. So it extend. Yeah. Stretch Armstrong. Go. Uh, was it Mr. Gadget? Ground ball. Mr. Gadget. Here. Yeah. Ground ball here to short. Throw over to first. It's in time. That will move Ryder over the third with one out. One gone here in the top of the seventh. Now brings up. Max Dillard, Max Dillard is hitting for Pitcher. Huckaba. Huckaba. So Dillard with his first at bat so of the game. Actually hitting for Brayden. Brayden took Huckaba's right. spot. Mm -hmm. Max has come in to hit for Brayden. First pitch. Swung on a miss for strike one. And the 0-1. Fouled away. So two count now here on Dillard. Luffman now back on deck. The 0-2. Swung on a missed here for strike three, and that will be the second out of the inning. Two gone, and that brings up a Luffman again. First pitch swung on a missed here for strike one. Luffman 0 for 1 with a strikeout so far in the game. Yes, he stayed pretty well dead red. Fastball stuff, too. He's the 0 1. This is low and away for ball one. And the 1 1. Say Luffman went around for strike two. Some kind of all speed pitch here. Hey, Jay. I get I'm, in trouble for that when I do it. Yeah, I'm sw I was trying to hold it the best <laughs> I could. And the one two. Ooh, that one went over his head, and Blackwood's going to try to come down and score, and he will. So Blackwood takes advantage of a wild pitch, and that cuts the lead to seven to one. There goes the shutout. Yeah. Hey, not. You didn't get no hit, and you didn't get shut out. Positives everywhere. Timmy's in a battle with a bug right now. What was that? I don't know what it's it was. It's a big fella, whatever he was. <laughs> Here's the 2-2. Two -two. This is away for ball three. And the full count offering. Swung on a miss for strike three, and that one will end the game. Tigers are going to improve to 14-4 and four on the season with a 7-1 win as Summertown will have its nine-game win streak snapped and drop to 
and 11 on the season. Timmy, what's your final thoughts here on tonight's game? Uh, Not much. AJ, I, well, I got some thoughts, but I don't know that I need to say them on air right now. <laughs> I was just sitting here thinking how many batting cages in between here and Summertown, how many stops I was going to make. Oh, uh, <laughs> no. Uh, hey, you know, we've – We've, like you said, we've had a nine-game win streak, so we was going to have one. So, if you're going to have one, I'd rather it be against this Arlington team as I had come down here. Because I, I think tonight is probably one of the worst games I've seen us play instead of Loretta Monday and Tuesday. Or we are here Monday. Yep. We're mm -hmm. here Monday yep. back at Summertown Tuesday. So, you know, we back up, we regroup, uh, get the boys' heads back on the shoulders directly and uh, uh, come back down here and uh, – get them two wins Monday and Tuesday and be in good shape in the district. Like Timmy said, next game for Summertown will be here on Monday night at 6.30, a big district showdown between the top two teams in that district. So for Timmy Kenning, for producer extraordinaire Will Pettis, this is A.J. Good. Loretto will face off with Arlington here in about half an hour on the Exports Network. Going the distance with local sports. This is the Exports 